Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Patty. Thank you so much for stopping by if you're new here. Today I've got a lower energy evening wind down yoga sequence. So if you've had a long day or if you're just looking to wind down to collect your thoughts, to get into a more relaxed state, this is perfect for you. You might need two blocks or even two pillows if you want to get a little bit cozy. But before we get too comfy, let's get started standing at the top of your mat. Come to a stand at the top of your mat and take a second here if you're comfortable to just kind of shake it out, wiggle it out, let go of the rest of your day and just allow yourself now to step into your practice. This is your space, your time to tune in to your body, to have a conversation with it. If you're comfortable, close your eyes. We'll start with three moving breaths. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to heart. Two more just like that. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Lengthen through your spine. Exhale, bring your hands to heart. One more. Inhale, reach up. Big exhale. Bring your hands to your heart. If you'd like to set an intention, please do so now or if you'd like to join me in just expressing some gratitude for the strength our body gives us each and every day. All right, bring your hands by your sides. Make two fists with your hands. Pull your knuckles down towards the earth. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Let's start with a couple neck rolls. Bow your chin into your chest. Tilt your chin towards your left shoulder. Slowly bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. Turn your head up and around. Bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. Tilt your chin towards your right shoulder. And then slowly bring it back down through center. One more time to the left. Tilt your chin towards your left shoulder. Keep pushing your palms down. Bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Bring your head back and around. Lift. Bring your right ear to your right shoulder, chin to right shoulder, bow your chin through center. Now pause, reset your shoulders, both shoulders, and slowly bring it to the other side. Tilt your chin over to the right, right chin, or right shoulder, right ear. Bring your neck up and back, left ear, left shoulder. Tilt your chin towards your left shoulder and then bring it back down. Feel free to pause anywhere that feels extra tight. Tight. One more time, chin to left, right shoulder, right ear, right shoulder. Bring your head back and around, left ear, left shoulder, chin to left shoulder, and slowly bring your head back through center. Beautiful, inhale, shrug your shoulders, both shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, roll it down and back. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Exhale, side stretch. Lower your right arm down, reach your left arm up and over. Press into the outer edge of your left foot and see if you can weigh your body down starting from your left foot. Now lengthen up and across to your left fingertips. Maybe squeeze your right side obliques to help deepen the stretch. Gently now grab for the right side of your head with your left hand. Move your neck over, move your head over towards the left. You should feel a nice stretch along the right side of your neck. And avoid pulling your head down. Just use the weight of your arm. From here, slowly come up through center. Bring your left hand behind your back, between your shoulder blades. Grab for your left elbow with your right hand. And move it over into a side body tricep stretch as you lean over to the right. So nice little side stretch progression, getting into our side body, our neck, and as well as the triceps. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, side stretch over to the left. Lower your left arm down, reach your right arm up and over. Again, pause and breathe. Press into the outer edge of your right foot. Elongate through your entire right side body to your fingertips. Maybe you'll give them a wiggle. 
Slowly reach for your left ear with your right hand. Gently bring your head over to the right. And tilt your head over to the right. Nice and gentle with the stretch. You should feel nice lengthening of the left side of your neck. Slowly come up through center. Bring your right hand behind your back. Grab for your left, right elbow with your left hand. Reach over for a nice tricep stretch. Beautiful. Inhale, come up through center. Bring both arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Invite a soft bend to your knees. Bring your heart forwards. Bow down. Now for a second here, Wiggle out your knees, or bend into your knees. Shake out your, the back sides of your legs. Widen your stance to about hip width distance apart. From here, bend your knees a lot. You can grab your blocks if that's a little bit more comfortable, or even rest your elbows onto your thighs. And if you'd like, you can even start to widen your stance. Not quite frog pose, but just getting really deep into the hips. Feel free to sway side to side. Press into your thighs with your elbows. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your palms. Inhale. Exhale, crouch and curl. Come, on up, come up nice and high up to your tippy toes. Round your upper back. Give your shins a nice little squeeze. We'll be here just for a second. And slowly lower down to have a seat. So we're gonna get into just a little bit of core. I know it's meant to wind down, but the theory behind this is that you start to focus on releasing some of the tension. So we'll intentionally create a little bit of tightness in the body so that when we release, it feels really good. All right, we'll start in a boat pose. So boat pose, you got a couple options. You can keep your heels down on the ground. So we'll call this lazy core, yeah? All right, shift your weight to your sits bones. Lean back until you feel your abs really start to engage. Let everything contract here. So there should be a little bit of shaking. You can hover your legs if you'd like, or you can just keep your heels down onto the ground. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Take a second here. Settle into your breath as you lean back. Now we're gonna add a little bit of side stretching or twisting here. So bring your left hand to your right knee, twist back to the right, hold. Squeeze your core, lift your chest, you can do this. All right, switch it out, plant your right hand on your left knee, twist over towards your left. Try to elongate through your spine like there's a string that's going straight through your, the crown of your head down to your tailbone. Other side, left hand, right knee, bring it back. Squeeze your core, doing a little bit of that twisting here. Come back through center, right hand, left knee, twist to your left. So go for a count of six more for six. Squeeze your abs nice and tight. Lean back a little bit further for five. Twist to your left. Last four. You got this. Only three. Last set for this exercise, two, and one more. All right, we'll take a little bit of a break. Prop yourself up on your elbows, kind of like you're sunbathing or moonbathing. Lift your chest now. It's gonna be a little bit more active than that. Squeeze your core, hug your knees into your chest and extend your legs or you can keep your legs bent. From here, I call this the, uh, the Gillette girl forward exercise because you're going to, or the Venus girl, sorry, you're going to, okay, okay, lift up and out by pressing in, lift up and out of your, avoid letting your chest sag, press into your elbows, lift your chest, try to keep your neck nice and in line with, no, Drive into your elbows, lift your chest, find a nice strong core, brace everything tight, squeeze. You're gonna hover your knees option to extend your legs or you can keep them bent. I think of this as like the Venus commercial. So keep your core nice and tight, try not to let it round. From here, lower one leg, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Really squeeze your core nice and tight. So you see why they call this the, the Venus girl commercial. Really squeeze, focus on the lower core here. 
Try to keep your low spine up and away from the mat. Only a couple more, last four. You got this for three. Only two. And one more, we're gonna hold both legs up. Just for a count of four, both legs down. Bring it for four, as low as you can go. For three, keep your spine strong. Only two. And one more, from here, cross your ankles. Plant your palms, we got one last bit of core exercise. I promise it won't be for long. Step it back into a forearm plank, press into your elbows, tuck your toes. <sighs> now breathe, squeeze your core up and in. Check in with yourself here. See if you can transfer the energy of your day into the strength of your muscles. Grab your mat with your fingertips, press into your elbows, Lift your shoulders one inch. Now squeeze your abs up and in. Really fire up the entire front line of your body. And we hold it here for just one more breath. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Let it go. Come on down to your knees. I told you it was short. Plant your palms. Tuck your toes. Breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips as you melt your heels down. Yep, first downward facing dog always feels so good. Feel free to pedal out your knees. And melt your chest towards your thighs. All right, from here, inhale, come up nice and high up onto your tippy toes. Exhale, rotate both heels towards the left side of your mat. Keep your right palm firmly down on the, on the mat. You should feel a nice side body stretch along the entire right side of your body. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, rotate both heels to the right side. Press into your left palm. See if you can really bring length to the left side of your rib cage, down through your waistline. Inhale, come up through center. Parallel your feet. Inhale, sweep your right leg high. Exhale, scorpion your hip. Bend your right knee. Bring your right heel towards your glutes. Feel free to take a couple hip circles here. Just hold. Inhale, three-legged dog, re-extend your right leg high. Send your gaze forwards, exhale, knee to nose, and step it through for a low lunge. Rotate your back heel down. Inhale, warrior two. Windmill your arms to a T. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Now pause and breathe. All right, take a second here. This is a relaxation technique we use in yoga therapy or meditation. It's called uh, clench and release. It is exactly what it's called. So we're gonna build a little bit of that tension and then release it. So starting with your feet. Drag your feet towards one another. You should feel an activation of your inner thighs. So try to peel your left foot towards the top of your mat as you peel your right foot to the back of the mat. Now release. Now squeeze your glutes, those are your booty cheeks. Squeeze them together, open up through your hips. Hold, inhale. Exhale, release. Now bring that up to your core. Squeeze your core up and in. Lift up and out of your waistline. And release. Now this time, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Really expand across your chest. Release. Clench your fists. Pull away from your body. Maybe you squeeze your face. Must be. <laughs> Maybe you squeeze the muscles in your face. Breathe in. And exhale, triangle pose. Straighten your right leg. Hinge your body forward. Lengthen through your entire left side here. If you want, you can prop yourself up by bringing your hand to your hip or to just the top of your thigh. Try not to lean on your right leg. More so just finding that as a little bit of stability. All right, inhale, reverse warrior. Bend into your right knee. Reach your right arm up and back. Hold and breathe. We've been getting into a lot of lengthening in our side body, so see if you can get a little bit deeper. Breathe in. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Windmill your arms down. Pivot your right toes to face the side of your mat. Let your body hang heavy. From here, you can grab a couple blocks if you like, but we're gonna do just a little bit twisting. So if you wanna place a block on, uh, right in front of your face, feel free to do so. I'll show you. All right, plant your left palm down on the ground or the block. 
Inhale, twist, reach your right arm to the sky. You can always bring your right hand to your hip. Invite a nice length across the inseam of your left thigh. Plant your right palm down. Inhale, twist to the other side. Reach your left arm up high. Hold and breathe. Lengthen across your entire right leg this time. Inhale. Exhale, slowly plant your left palm. Walk your hands to the top of your mat. Come on down to your left knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Reach your arms up and over, up and high. Drag your right heel back. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Pause and breathe. You have a second here. If you want to bring your hands down to your thigh, even press your body away from your thigh. Or if you'd like, for a twisted monkey pose, you can grab for a block. If you'd like, place it on the inside of your right foot. Lift your back knee and reach for your back foot. If you can't reach, that's totally fine. You can just keep it kind of hovering there as you hinge your body forward. You should feel a nice stretch along the front of your left thigh, your quad. And just invite a nice little twist. Hmm. All right, so you release your right or left foot, plant your palms, tuck your back toes, step your right foot back to a high plank, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga, high plank to low, squeeze your elbows tight. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift your chest, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, sweep your left leg high. Exhale, scorpion your left hip open. Feel free to take a couple hip circles here as you bring your left heel towards your glute or just hold your three-legged dog. Inhale, three-legged dog. Lift your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot through. Rotate your right heel down. Inhale, warrior two. All right, let's get into that clench and release. Same thing here. Settle into your stance. Now start with the base of our warrior two. Drag your left heel towards your right foot and then press your right foot towards your left heel. Breathe in. Exhale, release. Now squeeze your glutes. Open up through your hips. Squeeze, inhale. Exhale, release through your core. Squeeze your abs in tight. Lift up and out of your hips and release. Shoulders, squeeze your shoulder blades together and release. Fists this time, fists pull your arms apart from one another. Maybe tighten your face muscles, inhale. Exhale, triangle pose, straighten your left leg, tick tock your arms. Take a second here, try not to reach too far down. Use the strength of your obliques to hold your body up. Beautiful, inhale, re reverse warrior, reach your left arm up and back. Bend into your left knee a lot. Lengthen through your left side, inhale, exhale, wide-legged forward fold, walk your hands to the right side of your mat, pivot your left foot to point the side of your mat. <sighs> All right, from here, a little bit deeper of a twist, reach for your left ankle or towards your, or, I'm sorry, your right ankle with your left hand. Option to twist your right arm up or just bring it to your hip. And slowly release, walk it over to the other side. Bring your right hand to the outside of your left foot. Option to lift your arm up and high. Or maybe even take that hip over here. Slowly release. Inhale, halfway lift in your spine. Exhale, low lunge, bend into your left knee. Come on down to your right knee. Inhale, crescent moon, sweep your arms up. Melt your hips towards your left heel. Mm. From here, if you'd like, you can bring your hands to your thigh. Maybe if you'd like, you can grab for that block also. For a twisted monkey, bring your right hand to the block. Or option, if you want, you can come up onto your fingertips. Reach for your back foot. If you can't reach, you can always use a strap if you have one. Or maybe even just bring your right foot towards your glute. Let your hips get heavy, melt down the front of your hips, melt towards your mat. Slowly release your foot if you took it. 
Plant your palms, tuck your toes, step your left foot back to a high plank. This time, rather than chaturanga, you can always do that. We're gonna lower all the way down to the belly. Breathe in, exhale, lower all the way down. From here, keep your hands where they are. Inhale, baby cobra, lift your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together and exhale, release. From here, option for a tabletop or high plank. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Alrighty, take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. One more just like that, deep inhale breath. Cleansing, open mouth, exhale, let it go as you begin to let the rest of your day melt away. All right, inhale, lift your right leg high. Option here, exhale, scorpion. Inhale, re-extend your right leg. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. A little bit faster here, but we're gonna change just a couple of things. Rotate your back heel down. Inhale, warrior two. No clenching this time. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse warrior. Bend into your right knee. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. Walk it over to the left side of your mat. This time here, if you'd like, Maybe widen your stance, let your head and neck hang. A lot of times when you're finding postures to help you re relax, it involves kind of hanging upside down. It relieves that tension that you hold in your spine from sitting and standing all day. Inhale, halfway lift in your spine. Listen up for the change here. Exhale, low lunge. So walk your hands to the top of your mat, shift your weight to your right foot. Inhale, standing splits, we're not here for long. Lift your left foot, doesn't have to be really high, but see if you can melt into your right hamstring by lifting your left heel. Inhale, exhale, slowly bend your left knee, lower it down to the ground, nice, slow and controlled. You can use your blocks for stability. If you'd like, have a seat. So we're coming to a seat twist, cross your right foot over your left thigh. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, sweep your left arm up and overhead. Exhale, seated twist. Bring your left elbow to the right to outside of your right thigh. Twist open here. Squeeze your core up and in. Try not to force the twist with your elbow. Rather, just use it to help you get into this shape. Lengthen through your entire spine. You can either send your gaze back or send your gaze forward, whatever feels better in your neck. Mm, so good, slowly release the twist, plant your palms, make your way to a tabletop here. So you're gonna plant your palms, step your right knee back. This time, cat cow, inhale to a cow pose. And exhale to a cat pose, round and curl, just one more like that, inhale cow. Exhale, cat. Tuck your toes, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your heels, or lift your hips, I'm sorry. Lift your heel, that's jumping. All right, left side, inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, scorpion your left hip open. Again, feel free to take some of those big hip circles, release some of that tension. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Rotate your back heel down. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, triangle pose. Straighten your left leg, hinge your body forwards. Inhale, reverse warrior. Bend into your left knee again. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. All right, from here again, if you want to widen your stance and take a little bit more twisting here, you can bring both hands to your right ankle. Maybe both hands to the left ankle. Come on down through center, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. All right, shift your weight to your left foot. Inhale, standing splits. Lift your right heel high just here for a second. If you need those blocks, place them underneath your palms. 
Inhale, exhale, bend your right knee, slowly lower down to the ground. We'll take that seated twist. Cross your left foot over your right thigh. Inhale, sweep your right arm high. Exhale, twist over towards the left. Bring your left hand back behind you. Take a second here to settle in to your twist. Notice where your hips connect to the ground. Lengthen up through your spine and see if you can twist using the strength of your core rather than the strength of your elbow. <laughs> Gorgeous, all right, slowly come back through center. Make your way to a tabletop pose. All right, from here, walk your hands forward. Melt into a puppy dog pose. Walk your hands to the top in your, of your mat. Bring your chest down to the ground. Keep your hips over your knees. And if this is too much, you can always just rest your forehead down onto the ground and take child's pose. Or if you'd like, you can begin to really melt your chest down towards the ground. Let your chin rest on the mat. Open up along your shoulders, your chest. From here, slowly press yourself back up. And then make your way back into a child's pose. Sit your hips down and back, bring your knees out wide. And just breathe. The beautiful thing about yoga is that when we connect with our physical bodies, it can help us unblock a lot of emotions and allow us to really tune in to what's going on inside our minds, our thoughts. And if anything starts to come up, just see if you can observe them and just come back to your practice. All right, inhale, hinge forward to a table top, tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Let's really stretch it out here. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon pose. Bring your right knee towards your right wrist crease. Cross your right ankle towards your left wrist crease and sit down onto your hips. If you feel that this is tight in your knees, please place a block or a pillow underneath your right hip. But just take a second here to sit up first before lowering down. Let your chest expand, lengthen through your spine. If it feels better to prop yourself up on your forearms, please do so but this should really feel really good in your glutes. Now slowly as you're ready, lower down onto your forearms. And let your head and neck collapse. Let your body start to just absorb all of the benefits of stretching, of moving. If you feel your mind start to wander, take this time to just reconnect with your breath. Let go of the distractions, you don't need those now. Slowly push yourself back up onto your forearms. From here, you're gonna lean over to your right, cross your left knee over and across. You're gonna extend your left leg out to the side of your mat. From here, inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. Exhale, twist to your right, and then lean over towards your left. You reach for your left foot here. Doesn't matter how far you go. Again, we're just really getting into the side stretching. Inhale, slowly come back up. And then exhale, cross your left knee back, make your way back into a tabletop. Inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, sweep your left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon pose. Bring your left knee towards your left wrist crease. Left foot to your right wrist crease. Slowly come on down. Untuck your back toes. Again, just take a second here. Stay seated before melting down. Give your glute a chance first to stretch from all different angles. It's one of our biggest muscle groups. So we tend to hold a lot of tightness there. So it feels really good as we begin to release some of that. Silly, so walk your hands forward, coming down 
to your forearms. You can always come on down to a block if you'd like. Or even make two fists, rest your forehead down on your fists. Begin to notice if your body feels different on one side than the other. Sometimes we use muscle groups more on one side of our body than the other, like if you're right-handed or left-handed, for example. So if it feels a little different, that's okay. Allow yourself to focus on the stretch rather than the shape. And slowly bump your hips over to the left. Extend your right leg out towards the top of your mat. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Exhale, twist towards your left as you lean towards your right. Let your body kind of hang here for a little. It's not about how far you can reach with your fingers. Really just getting into that low back stretching now. Slowly come up through center, inhale, this time here. Exhale into a butterfly pose. You're gonna bring your feet, bottoms of your feet together. Knees come out wide, sit up nice and tall. The closer you bring your feet, your heels towards your hips, the deeper this posture is. So if you want just a tinier stretch, you can bring your feet forward. And then from here, you can shake side to side. Get really deep into your inner hips. Maybe if you want, you can even butterfly out your knees. This one always brings me back to like childhood. And see if you can get a little bit deeper with every exhale. Slowly come up through center. Extend your legs forward as you slowly roll all the way down onto your back. Ah, from here, hug your left, right knee into your chest. Extend, actually place your left foot. Keep your left foot down on the ground. Hug your right knee in towards your chest. Inhale. Exhale, supine twist, bring your right leg across your body, lower your left knee down, might feel a couple cracks and pops, but the goal here really is to press down into your right shoulder, try to keep both shoulder blades glued down to the ground. Avoid forcing the twist of your right thigh towards your mat, you really just want to let this twist come organically. Slowly hug both knees back in, and this time switch it out. Lower your right foot down, hug your left knee up and in, inhale. Exhale, supine twist to the other side. And again, just take some time here. Peel your left shoulder down to the ground. Avoid forcing the twist with your hand. Rather, just use your hand to help encourage your left leg over your body. Slowly hug both knees back into your chest. Rock side to side. You may grab for either the outsides of your thighs or maybe reach for your feet. Take a happy baby pose. Drag your knees towards the ground. Flex your feet. And feel free to take a couple ankle circles or maybe crack your toes. Really connect with your body here. From 
here extend both legs straight up the wall. They don't have to be completely straight, but just focus here on letting the circulation slow in your feet. Feel free to pedal your feet forwards and back. Spread your toes out wide and then pull them into a foot fist. <laughs> Bring your toes wide and then slowly hug your knees back into your chest. Wrap your forearms around your shins. Give yourself a beautiful loving hug. Take a deep breath in and exhale, release for your final Shavasana. Please feel free to stay here for as long as you'd like. As you begin to finally let go of all that work, all that energy, begin to let go of all the effort, all the work. Maybe take a quick body scan from head to toe. Taking mental note of anywhere that needs a little bit more love. But see if you can slow everything down, release those distractions, and allow yourself to just be, to be in this loving energy that you've just released for yourself. Before you open your eyes, take a second here to tune back into your breath, the natural inhales and exhales as you pull air in and out of your lungs. Breathe in through your nose, open mouth, exhale, let it go. One more just like that, deep breath in. Big sigh, let it go, wiggle out your fingers, your toes. Slowly invite some life and movement back into your wrists and ankles. Extend your arms back behind you for a full body stretch. Breathe in. And exhale, slowly hug your knees into your chest. Roll on over to your right or your left side. And just pause for a second as you hold this fetal position. Press yourself up to an easy seat, the center of your mat. We'll close this out together. Oops. Close this out together with Three moving breaths. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to heart. Two more just like that. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart. One more deepest breath yet. Inhale, sweep up, reach up, pull in all that strength. And exhale, share it out. Bow your chin down into your chest. Give yourself a small smile to express some gratitude for showing up in this space. Thank your body for all of its strength that it offers you each and every day. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for taking the time to practice with me. You guys are so awesome and amazing. I hope you guys feel just as good in your body as I do in mine. It feels so good to move and to stretch. It's the perfect way to unwind. 
please do me a favor and treat yourself to a little bit of self-love, whether it's putting on a nice calming song, maybe diffusing some candles or oils, or even just rubbing on some lotion to help relax everything before you head off to bed. So thank you so much for watching again. If you have any questions about anything that we work on, as always, feel free to leave a comment below. If not, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.